music for fun just because it's fun we don't want to have a career we just want to have fun but we want to I want to be a doctor I want to be a this I want to be that and I realized that you don't have to just be a musician to make it it's actually having music in your life is what is positive about so many cultures America too is from the northeast of Brazil a place called Recife and uh, in a state called Pernambuco. It has a very long tradition which comes from the 17th century. Uh, basically the Catholic Church and the slave masters, the Portuguese, decided on a way of controlling the slaves even more by giving them a festival, a day where they could dress up and pretend to be kings and queens. The thing is, as it happened with other, throughout the whole of Brazil, the slaves, uh, the African population, recycled this and made it their own and took the drums that they were given and the instruments they were allowed to play and started to play their own music on those instruments. And this became Marica too. In Maracatu, we also use this kind of snare drum. And in Maracatu, there's also many bells and shakers and different instruments that we use. I have a whole range of different stuff here and they all make kind of different sounds. Um, what I'll show you now is the hand drum which is this. In Brazil they're called atabaki, in uh, Cuba they're called conga. is like the great uncle of samba which is one of the most popular rhythms throughout Brazil and it in a way represents pride against prejudice now samba is the original music that I found when I was in my late teens I was hitchhiking around Europe and I met a South American guy and uh, that meeting kind of changed my life because he also lived in London and when I came back to London I met him again he introduced me to the London School of Samba, where I started to play. And within a few years, I'd become a very competent player, and I went to university in Bristol, and I set up my own samba band. And I started setting up samba bands throughout the country. And at that point, I thought, well, actually, I don't really know what I'm doing. I kind of do what I can do, but I think I should go to Brazil. You know the kind of speed that Irinel will go crazy at? That, that kind of speed. The thing is, the kind of samba I played was from Rio de Janeiro, but the only person I knew in Brazil was living in Olinda, which is right next door to Recife in Pernambuco, right in the northeast of Brazil. So I thought, well, I'll go there first, and then I'll go down to Rio. Let me learn my Portuguese in a really calm place, a backwater, I thought it was. And then I'll go down to, to Rio and I'll play my samba. I never made it. In fact, I only went to Rio de Janeiro about four years ago. And uh, it didn't tick the boxes that had been ticked so well by going to Recife. Now, Pernambuco is the name of the state. Pernambuco is a word with ten letters. Not one of those letters repeats itself. And it's just like the culture within Pernambuco. 
There are so many different styles of music, frolics, carnival activities, and Maracatu is one of them. And the first time I saw a Maracatu band, it was the funkiest thing I'd ever seen. It blew me away. So I got involved in a band out there called Maracatu Nação Pernambuco and I was lucky enough to be invited to record on their first album which is in fact the first Maracatu album ever recorded in the world. So there's me, an English gringo, having that kind of fantastic opportunity and as well as travelling to Salvador and working with uh, dance companies from groups like Olodum and, and other people I was lucky enough to be involved with this fantastic group in Pernambuco, in Recife. And I loved the music. In fact, I loved the people. And I ended up falling in love and marrying. And I have two children who are bilingual, half Brazilian, half English. And through that whole experience of coming back and uh, working with culture here in this country, I decided to set up my own America 2 band. And the Maracatu band that I set up is called Maracatu Estrela do Norte, which means Maracatu Star of the North, because we're up in the north. For me, it's something that gives me great pleasure. It's something I don't make much money out of. Um, we go out to carnival and many friends come from other countries, from around the UK, and often there are 60 drummers, 40 dancers, and we make a real big splash at Notting Hill Carnival every year. However, we also have a small semi-professional band. Oh, my God.